Uh, my name is Seiko Konya. I was born in Tokyo, Japan uh, a few years after the war and I was the youngest and the only girl in the family. So, um, and my father actually worked um, as an English teacher in high school and um, my mother was stay-at-home mom. Growing up in the um, 50s, I, there was little things in, in Japan and so um, my toy was collecting papers and things like uh, chewing gum foils with the little zigzag uh, cuttings. I love that. And um, I collected doilies from pastries and I washed them carefully and ironed them. And I just loved the idea of collecting uh, and finding things and uh, putting them away in the box and just peeking sometimes. And that used to give me so much pleasure. Um, and um, my father first came to U.S. Um, for education wow. in the um, in the twenties, and um, at that time he helped start a Japanese school uh, in the Southern California area, and there were ten uh, schools that he, wow. he and his friends started. Um, at that time, uh, many of the Japanese families would uh, send their teenager uh, kids to Japan and learn the language and um, the culture. So um, the schools would help uh, mainly uh, those who couldn't afford to send their kids to Japan. And so. Um, my father graduated and he got his PhD in philosophy and went back to Japan. Uh, in the 50s, uh, when he retired from work, uh, he uh, was asked to come back to the United States to um, help run the school. So um, that's how we came to immigrate here. Uh, my two older brothers uh, were almost adults, so they, they opted to stay in Japan. My um, immediate older brother and I and my parents um, immigrated. I was like about 10. Oh, okay. And so um, it was, uh, you know, I was uh, kind of an average kid in Japan and no really talent in art or anything. But um, coming here, I, I didn't speak a word of English, so um, I guess the teachers, you know, put me to work painting. Um, that gave me some experience in, uh, with brush and paint. Um, and later on, in, um, I went to Roosevelt High School in East Los Angeles area, and we were asked to pick a um, a major and um, I selected math because that was the only thing I knew how to do and I also um, elected to take uh, painting and um, as it turned out Mrs. Terrazas was the head of the art department and she recommended that I would uh, try out for this scholarship at Chenard College of Art, and um, I said, well, th well, the thing was, um, you have to be an art student, art major. So I asked her if, you know, if there's a future in art for me, and she said, well, if you work hard enough and graduate from college, that there will be something. Yeah. So I changed my, my major and tried out for this scholarship, and um, to my surprise, I got in. And this is where my art journey started, really. So I ended up taking two years of life drawing class there in high school, during high school. Yeah, at the college, um, every Saturday. 
So that gave me, that was the foundation for uh, my journey to, in the arts. I, I went to um, East Los Angeles College and um, re received my BA at California, University of California in Irvine. And at that time, um, my parents couldn't afford me to go to a private art school, but my older brother, Yoshiro, went to uh, uh, Art Center College of Design. And so um, I got to learn a lot from him and his friends uh, who came to our house to do their homework. We had a huge basement, so they all kind of gathered at our house and, and did their projects. So I got to watch that and really, um, I got to actually uh, do my homeworks with them. So I also went to their school to look at their, you know, what other students were doing and looked at the standard of their work. And I try to keep up with their, um, the artists there. And I knew that I would have to eventually um, you know, compete with, with them for a job. So uh, it was important for me to, to really keep an eye on what they were doing. Well, my brother Yoshio was a big help for me because he looked at my uh, portfolio as I was uh, creating them. And, and I remember he made me um, do this one illustration five times before he said, okay, that's, that's good enough. And uh, he also gave me a um, list of art studios around uh, LA area and in Hollywood. And um, that really started my career mm -hmm. um, as an artist. You know, I had no idea what kind of art um, jobs there would be, but through my brother and his friends, you know, what they were doing and uh, what, what they were aspiring to, to go into, um, I had some idea that maybe I could be an illustrator. And so, um, with, with the list that he gave me, I went around town, um, you know, to get interviews with all the art directors. And they were so helpful um, and encouraging that uh, I became a freelance illustrator. And I also uh, was kind of lucky enough to get into this Adam studio in Merrow's and they provided me with a desk and some equipments uh, like Lucy machines and stat machines. And, and then they had uh, five reps who would take our portfolio around. So I didn't have to go around town anymore. Um, and they would provide me with work. I worked um, as an illustrator for a year and a half um, freelancing. and. Um, one of my rep brought this um, freelance job from Mattel Toys. And so, um, you know, I went there to get the, the work. And they asked me to do this. They gave me uh, Barbie, two Barbie dolls, and they said, well, come up with two themes and um, do some illustration on the background. And, uh, dressed the two, two Barbie dolls. And I didn't know how to sew that well, but I must have done okay because they offered me a permanent job. So um, I thought, well, maybe this is a good thing that I, I work eight hours a day like grown ups. And so I thought, okay, I'll do it for a year or so. And so I went in and it was so much fun. They um, put me in a preliminary design, which is the conceptual design side. And you come up with an idea and you have um, a model makers that would help you make the prototypes. You have chemists, you have electrician that would help you with all the, 
uh, the parts that you don't know how to get done. And so it was just a fun thing. It was just so creative and, and energetic that um, I stayed for five years. And when I had my kids, I went out and uh, freelanced again for eight years. And then uh, when I came back, I, I did go back to uh, Mattel. Huh. And this time I went to the development side, which is after the concept gets um, approved by the upper management, it becomes a, a goal and it be, you know, we, we take it from there to, to production. So you get a whole team of people. I, I often got the high priority projects at Mattel, so I would take it all the way to Hong Kong office and then into production uh, just to expedite the schedule. Just that creative thought always um, drove me and it was so exciting to me that, uh, you know, to, to work with other people who are professionals and they were good at what they were doing. And so you, you really wanted to keep up with that, their uh, standard. And, and so I, I did my best and um, I found it very uh, fun and, and creative to do that. Well, I'm, I'm at Mattel and then I, I hear about this rumbling of uh, McDonnell Douglas where my husband worked, um, is merging with Boeing up here in Seattle area. And so we decided, okay, whose career are we gonna follow? And, and so I said, well, Boeing sounds pretty good. And Seattle, I, I was curious to move up to Seattle because it's, it's such a beautiful area. So we decided, okay, that's, Let's do the Boeing thing. <laughs> and so that's what brought us to Seattle. My older uh, daughter, Christine, was uh, a senior in high school. And so that was just so heartbreaking uh, to have to bring her up here. And my son was in junior high. And so, um, but you know, she was a trooper, a real trooper. And, and uh, he says, she said, okay. You know, we'll, we'll do it, but let me go down and see my, my friends. Is that, would that be okay? So, you know, we had her friends come up and uh, she would go down and uh, visit them. Well, there was a person that, uh, I guess they're, they're called headhunters, um, called me and asked me if I would be interested in working at this uh, small manufacturing company. And I thought, well, why not? You know, and so I worked as a creative art director there. It's a small company, and I helped bring in the um, Disney and uh, Warner Brothers license into the company and started a whole line of dolls. So, um, you know, that was kind of a, an interesting thing for me because I, I understood the, the process um, really well since I worked at Mattel as a preliminary design all the way up to the production side. So um, I understood the whole business of that and so I was, um, I think I was, uh, it's just, you know, um, right at the right time and it worked for me there. And I also worked at, um, taught at uh, Art Institute of Seattle for a couple of years. One freezing day, I walked into Mercer Island Community Center and there was a hall full of um, floral watercolor paintings and there were Jenny Reese's beautiful, beautiful paintings. And I went through them and it just felt so warm just looking at those uh, paintings and I just warmed me up. It was like, you know, the spring has come. And seeing that, I, I just thought, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get into watercolor. I always liked watercolor and I thought, well, I'm going to really do it. 
And so she inspired me and I quit the job and um, I signed into um, Joan Frey's uh, watercolor class and got started in watercolor. Well, I think I was about 60, 61. Well, most recently I, I traveled to Maine um, and uh, visited Winslow Homer's studio and home in um, Proud's Nest uh, in Maine, and also to Cushing's, where Andrew Wyeth spent uh, many years uh, sketching and painting at um, Christina Olson's home. Mm. And um, I, I just admire those two uh, artists and their watercolors. Uh, Homer uh, often used uh, chromatic uh, contrasts like the blacks and red and, and orange and blues and uh, to achieve uh, this dramatic, powerful um, paintings that was just astonishing to me. And it's just pure, you know, colors that just get you that amazing, uh, strong uh, paintings. Um, and then, on the other hand, Wyeth was very, um, his, his aesthetics is very quiet and um, subtle. And um, mm. he has, um, well, simplicity and um, kind of a subtle grace and um, kind of understated beauty, and that resonated with me. Um, I've taken a lot of workshops too, but, well not a lot, but um, some workshops uh, with uh, Nancy Stonington, um, um, Thomas Scheller, uh, Ted Nuttall, to name a few, but I tend not to take too many I'm kind of, um, I guess, stubborn about it, and I rather kind of work my own problems out and find my own voice uh, in paintings. You know, uh, I'm so tight in my watercolor, and watercolor provides you to be loose and and um, you know. Uh, let the, the free freedom of the water just ooze out. And, but I am a very tight, you know, kind of controlling. So I'm, I'm hoping to get better at that, where I can loosen up and be a little more dynamic about my paintings. Um, it, you know, uh, when I was younger as an illustrator, I did a lot of illustration that um, for magazines and album covers and uh, you know uh, billboards and things like that, and so it was all always kind of you know tight rendered um, illustrations. So it's hard for me to get that looseness, and that's my challenge right now is to um, kind of loosen up and and let the accidents happen. I'm surprised at myself that, uh, you know, my high school years uh, of um, life drawing comes back here and um, it helps me uh, paint. I, I, because I was inspired by Jenny that I started out with uh, floral paintings, but it, you know, when I, the first, uh, I guess, portrait that I painted was uh, of my husband, cause, and um, I was uh, a part of IFA at that time, and they had a show, and, and actually I, I put in that uh, portrait of my husband, and I got an award for it, so I, I went into, um, more of a portrait uh, and figurative uh, uh, paintings. Um, 
kind of, uh, you know, every, every detail, uh, slight um, expression, the, the change of, um, of the facial muscle and the tilt of the head and everything kind of uh, shows up as an emotion and um, so it's very uh, sensitive yeah. and I, I like that. I, I like the idea of uh, being that, you know, sensitive about a figure and um, that way uh, my, um, I don't know, the sensitivity that I, I have would, you know, come out in my paintings, it would be executed that way. I try to live art. I, I think, uh, and what I mean by that is, you know, how I place everything around the house um, needs to balance, and it drives my husband kind of crazy because I would take things around the house and rearrange things. I do, um, you know, I cook. I'm not a good cook, but I place the uh, plate in certain ways that it has color and you know I, I play around with plating a lot and it just makes it look delicious it's not often you know that good but it makes it look delicious I do things like that that just automatically um, I think as an artist you you kind of bring art to whatever you do well um, you know um, like I said, I, I, I don't do well in, uh, you know, workshops so much. I, I read a lot of books of other artists, and recently I, I read through some uh, Mary White's books, and uh, boy, she's really something, and I, I just admire her, and I even went to Charleston to uh, see her original artwork. Um, but she lives, she moved from the northern uh, states to south to be with her, you know, subjects and to live within this, you know, the people that she paints. And I admire that of her. And um, I think uh, that's one of the things that um, you have to find what you, what you as a person have a sub, uh, passion for and um, for me, uh, because I'm from Japan, um, I would love to learn more about uh, Japanese culture and, and all that, although I've, I've been submerged into it because of my, my parents yeah. uh, being so Japanese. <laughs> um, but there are a lot, a lot more that I, I would love to learn um, and incorporate all of that in, in, in my paintings. So watercolor is, uh, for me now, it, it's my life. It's part of my uh, existence now because it, I, I work, I paint every day. And, uh, I paint with a group of people too. On Mondays, I go to an open studio and I try to visit a lot of galleries. Um, and um, I think uh, it's one of the hardest medium. So I challenge myself as, and, and get better at the craft. Um, but it is a long journey and I've, I have a lot to learn, but um, it's just small steps at a time and, and you take one step, you know, um, and then um, I think, I hope I get, you know, to a point where I can say, oh, I, I'm really happy with this painting or I'm really excited about my paintings. Yeah.